What's up friends? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jorge. If you're new here, welcome to part four or five. I don't know what even part we're in. Wait till we get to part 12. <laughs> Just kidding. This is my living room makeover series and I'm sharing, giving you a full and death look at sort of the process because for me, it's all about the process. all about the process of putting together a space. I find that more fun than the actual final reveal, which that'll be the next video in the series. Today, we're going to wrap it up with some DIYs. Um, so you know that table that I got in the last video. Go check out the playlist if you haven't already, but I'm gonna be refinishing it because I don't like the red color. Also finishing up the DIY pedestal with a little storage box, but there's a little plot twist. And we're gonna do some wall art because I love some wall art. So I'm about to stain this pedestal. You might remember this from my previous living room video. Um, so now that the stain arrived, I actually ordered this one. This is General Finishes Java. I also had this one already. This is by Minwax Black. So I'm testing out some samples here. This one's black, this one's Java, and then this one's Java with black on top. This is black with Java on top. I don't know, they're kind of basically the same. This one is a little bit less brown as you can hopefully tell on camera. I think I'm gonna go with this one for the pedestal right here, which is also gonna be for the table, which maybe I already showed you, depending on, I don't know, how I edit this video, but I like that one. Pre-stain wood conditioner before I apply the gel stain. This is so that the stain is absorbed nice and evenly. So this is what the stool looks like after it is finished. I really like the color, but somehow I forgot that I ordered this one and I like it better uh, for this space right here. I think it just works well. The lighter wood, I think this is solid wood. Feels very nice. And then with that like natural jute rug, it's not jute, but looks jute. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. So maybe I made this for no reason. Actually, I didn't. I actually got to put it in another space, but it's the thought that counts, right? I mean, it was a good idea with the lid and everything to like store things, but we'll find a, a place for it. So this is my new work table for the workspace slash home office, what have you. It's technically a dining table, but I like a round table. Now, I knew when I ordered it that I was not going to like the color, but I ordered it still because it's a really good price and it's solid wood. I'm going to alter the color a little bit to make it work with my design plan. Um, and I'm using this stuff. This is General Finishes Gel Stain. The color is Java. Never worked with this, used this brand before. So I think hopefully it'll work. It seems to be a popular one. Via YouTube University, I've been watching a lot of videos sharing how I can approach something like this. I've done gel staining before. But for some reason, I think I have done it wrong in the past. I just want to make sure I get good results, which is going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. The slow tortoise wins the race or something. I don't know. Um, that's not even applicable here. Anyways, um, first things first is I want to give it a light sanding so that it has, so the gel stain has something to adhere to and then allowing each coat to fully dry before applying the next. This is why it's gonna take a couple of days, but I don't wanna screw this up. I wanna make sure that I get it nice and right. So let's go take this outside and sand it, and then we can work on the actual staining part. This might be all that I know, think it's okay. I've got a long way to grow, at my own pay. Go the wrong way, no one taught me. How to walk, but I figured it out fine. Long strides, long strides, long strides Every day's your time You climb, you grow, you fall Get back up as from mo I took a microfiber cloth to just like wipe off any excess dust Get it nice and smooth I brought it inside since it's freezing cold outside um, And now we're ready to do some gel staining I did test out, again, these two colors um, 
I actually used this to test out for the uh, pedestal, which is going to be different because this is already has a color to it. But I think it's essentially it's the same concept where if I have like the reddish tone, I'll apply the dark or the black on top. It, it'll kind of cancel out some of the reddish tones. So I'm going to apply one coat of gel stain in the Java color and then black on top. It is the following day. The stain has dried. Um, well, mostly dried so that I can add another layer. As you can see, it's still a little bit reddish, but I'm going to go in with the black now. And then, depending on how that looks, I might finish it off with a red. Or not the red, the Java. <laughs> So I have an update. I applied the second coat um, and I used black, but I kind of freaked out and it kind of looked terrible. So I used some mineral spirits, some of this stuff, it's a mess. And now I applied Java over it and it looks way better. I actually think this is the final color. Yes, I know it kind of matches the floor a little bit, but that's okay, trust me on this. I'm really going for a minimal look. I don't want this table to stand out, um, but I want it to integrate well with the chairs that I'm going with. So just gonna let this fully dry overnight and then we'll add the final finish. Now that it has fully dried, or not fully dried, it's dried overnight, I'm going to put this Armour Seal set in. I think this is like a wipe on. And but first I want to give it just a light sanding using 400 grit sandpaper because there's just a little bit of a uh, tiny bit of texture that I want to knock off. Hi, future me here. I actually just realized I forgot to share the final result of the table. This is what it looks like. Sorry, the brightness is a little bit high, but I am obsessed with the color. It just looks so nice, especially paired with the chairs. Um, and I don't know, it just feels very like, it actually feels professionally done. Maybe I could have gone a little bit darker, but I kind of like it like this. You can still see the wood grain as you can see. Um, so very happy with that. Such an affordable, table especially for this style and it's solid wood but with a little bit of love and gel stain i got it custom to my space so definitely would recommend this table i think i'll link it below for you because i think they might discontinue it up on the list let's make some large wall art um, bought this canvas this is a 36 inch by 48 inch got this at Hobby Lobby they were having like a 50% off sale on the on these and I'm not gonna lie with you I'm kind of in a creative low right now where I don't know I'm just I don't know maybe I need to take a break or I just need to go find some inspiration I don't know what it is but I'm not going to paint my own for this one. This is going to go above the sofa. And I was looking online. Um, there's a couple of artists that I started following. Uh, I would love to buy original artwork, but just that budget for me is not there. So my option right now is to paint my own or kind of purchase some and DIY, which I'm going to show you. So I actually was on Etsy. I spent a decent amount of time looking for artwork and I have commitment issues with artwork because I don't know what it is especially with like, when it comes to my spaces 
I just, there's so many that I like and I'm like, oh my gosh, which one do I pe uh, peak, peak, pick? So I ended up purchasing one on Etsy. The seller was so kind enough to resize it for me, get it larger. This is the art that I printed. I hope you can see it. Very beautiful painting um, of like a mountain. What did it for me was the colors. I look at those colors. Very incredible uh, vintage art. So I had this printed. This was actually pretty affordable. It was like $10 for the digital download. And then printing at my local FedEx, the 34 or the 36 by 48 was, I want to say like $75, which I don't know, quite a bit, but I'm actually going to do a technique that I have done here in the channel before, and I'm going to mount it onto a canvas via Mod Podge, but I want to make this look like a real painting rather than a DIY that I printed something and slapped it onto a canvas, you know? So let's try our best to do this, and then I'm going to try to do a floating frame hack. Well, it's not how I would normally do uh, floating frames, but... I'll show you what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I do feel kind of guilty just slapping a print over this nice canvas, but I can honestly paint over it anytime, so not a big deal. I'm kind of nervous because I'm going to crumble it up and like, I know this works, but I haven't done it with this size before and this is like thick paper. Oh my goodness. I just need to do it. I need to just do it. <laughs> Crumble up the paper and it's going to give it texture and it's going to look amazing. It's going to be fantastic. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it. Why? wanted to rip. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over and try to get it as flat as possible. Just got a paper cut. Put a band-aid on. Much better. I'm going to be using this Mod Podge. This is in the matte finish to glue it on there. And then I'm also going to use this on top of it to seal it and make it look, um, I don't know, more finished. Now for the scary part, I gotta put the art on there. Make sure it's centered. Okay. Make sure it's centered. Flip it over. And apply pressure to the bottom. Or to the back side, I should say. You can see, but there's a little bit of like bubbling right here. So I'm just gonna take a little thumbtack and cut out, or just make a little hole. I try my best to release those air bubbles. Try not to go through the canvas, but. I'm also gonna put some glue here on the edge to fold it over like that. Okay, so to make this look more legitimate, it's been about 10 minutes um, and I allowed it to dry. Uh, as you can see here, this edge, um, it's gonna be seen a little bit with the floating frame. So I'm going to paint this and try to match the color it is. It doesn't need to be perfect, but just it'll make it look more legitimate, more pro. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to just use some acrylic paint that I have here. Looking at the painting, I think I'm going to use probably a little bit of black, some green. This one's raw umber. I really like this color. And I need some white too. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Can we talk for a second? I'm a little bit tired. I feel like maybe it's the snow or the fact that 
it's cloudy and freezing as heck out and I need to get some stuff from outside and actually cut some things. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired. The motivation's a little bit low right now. It's funny because I was always a winter person. I love winter over summer, but I don't know if that's true anymore. I think I prefer summer. I just like the warmth, the longer daylight, the vitamin D, and it probably takes some more vitamin D. Anyways, um, let's just keep pushing forward uh, because I, want, I really want to get this living room over with um, and just enjoy it, you know, with everyone. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, all right? Oh, God. As you can see, I feel like there's a little bit of the green, maybe some black, a little bit of brown undertone. So I'm going to try to mix something up together and see if I can match this color as best as I can. section and it looks like we have a little bit of white, a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue. That's what we have here. It is the next day. It is fully dried. So let's go on outside and let's do this as fast as we can because it's cold and make a frame for this. Okay, so we're in here in the garage. Uh, I'm going to make a frame, a floating frame. It's not really a floating frame. It's not how I would typically make a floating frame. This is going to be kind of going to look like a floating frame. Um, I guess we can call it a hack. Anyway, so we have our art right here. And I bought these um, panels or molding like molding, wood molding. I'll see if I can find it and link it for you. Um, I got this at Home Depot, but I know that they sell it at Lowe's. And what I like about this is that it's so thin. I don't know if you can see here. It's gonna give us a nice, modern, a slim uh, floating frame look. So I'm gonna use this for the border. But to create, let me see if I can. This is gonna go right here. And we want a little bit of a gap to create that floating frame look. And in order to do that, I'm actually going to glue another piece of board, actually hard, hardy wood, hardboard, hardboard on here. I'll show you in a minute. And then we're going to just nail it on there, which I do not like nailing into canvas art, but I'm just going to make an exception um, this time. And then that's going to create that floating effect. And then I'm thinking I'm going to stain this um, like my round table but we'll get to that later. Now I probably could have bought another wood because they also sell some that, let me focus on that. They sell some that is not as wide um, to glue on this to create the layer. Um, but since I have this hard wood, or what is this called, hardboard? I think it's called hardboard. I don't know what material this is, but it's super cheap. Um, it comes in a four foot by eight foot, but I had them cut this in half in the store but I'm just gonna use my table saw that I have set up right here and just cut little strips. I think I'm gonna go for like an inch and a quarter. Um, I think this is an inch and, I don't know how much this is. I think this might be a two inch wide, but I'm gonna do a smaller one here. I'll just show you. I think it's easier to just see than explain. By the way, it's so cold. I think it's like maybe 15 degrees out Fahrenheit. Um, even though the garage is insulated, the heater is not working, so I don't know if you can see my breath. <sighs> Let's just try to get this done. I want to go inside. Okay, so I cut my strips here, as you can see. So let me just mock it up for you. This is going to go here on the edge of the canvas. It's not going uh, to the end here. It's not flush, which we want that. So it's going to go like that. And then this wooden one is going to go here. As you can see, what that'll do is that's going to create sort of that floating effect. And then we'll paint this black. Actually, I might do that now. Um, just so that it's not noticeable because you can see from, if you look at it straight on, you'll be able to see it. Maybe it's not as noticeable. 
I don't know, but I'm gonna paint it black. I'm just like sanding the edges here. I feel like this stuff is made out of, I don't know, cardboard or something? What is cardboard? Or cardboard? Also, excuse the hot mess, or I should say cold mess. This is snow, because the car is normally parked here. Yeah, I know, it's a mess. So for the um, frame, I ended up going with the Java by General Finishes, which is the same color that I did on my uh, office table and then I topped it off with some black gel stain by the way I am allowing things to dry before applying the next coat which takes up like 12 hours so this is a lengthy process but I'm very happy with the direction of this the things are still drying the wood panel and then after that I have to apply the sealer um, which is gonna take a few hours between coats um, and I need to meet this video's deadline so I'm actually going to of course share the final reveal in the final video sorry to keep you hanging but I think you get the idea it's this beautiful painting this nice sort of java colored with a little bit of black uh, gel stain over it um, yeah I'm very excited about this It's snowing. Do you like the snow? I kind of like it. I like looking at it from the inside. I like coming outside for like five minutes, but then I'm good, you know? Let's do some more wall art. So I need a piece right here about this size. I was going to go out and buy a canvas and then make a frame and everything, but no need to do that because I have this one. Um, I've had this one for a while. This is just not, um, this is just like a print. I don't even know if this is real canvas or real wood, but it's fine. I like the size of it. So I'm actually gonna paint over this. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. I want a little bit of color in this space. I'm thinking of adding maybe red because I'm going for primary colors throughout the space. And I can't wait to share that final living room tour i guess um but let's go ahead and paint some art i just feeling like i said not so my creativity is a little bit low right now so let's let's see what we can do so i was planning on finishing it up in this video but i'm kind of stuck because one thing i always forget is that when i apply stain um it takes a couple of days and it's gonna take a little bit to dry uh, especially if I add the final um, protective coats and you know I have to wait a couple of hours between coats and all of that. And also I'm a little bit stuck. I don't know what direction to go with. I definitely know that I want color. I'm probably gonna go with like bold red, but I don't know if I want like bold pattern or if I want something kind of just a little bit more whimsical, a little bit softer. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think I should go bold or should I go whimsical? <laughs> Either way. I will definitely be sharing that over on Instagram, maybe, or gossiprefine.com, which is where I um, share my content free. Anyways, all right, fam, I think we're gonna call it good for today. The next video in this series is gonna be the final living room reveal video, which I'm so excited to film that. Just gotta finish up some styling and those kinds of things. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the wall art. Should I? go bold with pattern or should I kind of do something elegant but kind of whimsical? I don't know, let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Also, happy new year, it's the new year. Cannot believe it's 2022. Um, or whenever you're watching this, maybe you're watching this in 2026. Happy new year then. Anyways, goodbye.